This is a video on the physics of psychology or the notion that psychology can be described by physics, um, that there is such a thing as a physics of psychology. What does this mean? What is a physics of psychology? What do I mean when I say a physics of psychology? It is that the law, the that that psychology is or can be defined and described by the science of physics. Um, that when we look at psychology, either as purely biology or or um, neuroscience and we we apply reductionism to psychology we we reduce the whole discussion to an absurdity just as surely as if we you know um look at psychology as some kind of mystical, kind of otherworldly, kind of psychic phenomena and, and all this vague kind of nonsense. So I think what the point is, is to start from, let, let's start fresh and start with the theory that psychology is physics or that there is a physics of psychology. And if we start from that standpoint, then we can dismiss all the nonsense in, in uh, you know the whole range of nonsensical psychological theories as well as uh, the whole range of um, you know biological or neuroscience kind of theories where they're trying to um, you know force everything into and around the physical you know what's called the physical form or the physical body so a, a physics of psychology what is involved in a physics of psychology? What's involved in it is the recognition that when you take a human being, that they are composed of all of the four phases of matter. Solids, a, a human being is composed of solids, liquids, gases, plasmas, and that those four phases of matter are defined and described by the, the patterns and shapes and forms that they take are determined by uh, the force of, of magnetism, the forces of magnetism, the forces of forces of electricity and forces of frequency. So what this also means is that within the human being, within, the psyche of the human being, that phase transformation is possible and that it does occur. It can and does occur, um, whether through these forces of magnetism, through electricity, or through frequency. And that, likewise, not only does phase transformation occur in, in the psyche, so in other words, solids can be transformed into liquids, liquids can become gases, and gases plasmas, and the process can go in reverse. Plasmas can be transformed into gases, gases into liquids, and liquids into solids. But also that, that pattern, the pattern that we see, the structure that we see in the human being, in the human psyche, in the human body, is maintained by the forces of magnetism, and kind of defined by the forces of frequency and then kind of moved and, and motivated in, by the, the force of electricity. Now, there are basically two, two polarities, or rather two spins, um, or to, to put it another way, the two polarities, or the two spins, of magnetism define all of the frequencies, electrical currents, plasmas, gases, liquids, and solids of the human being, of the you know human psyche and of, of the physical being of the human being. So magnetism, it's very important to 
step back and look at magnetism fresh. Magnetism as a single force, essentially, with two polarities, which almost make it like two forces. And if you look at, for instance, the work of Albert Roy Davis and Walter C. Rawls, th those books really um, specifically magnetism and its effects on a living system as well as the rainbow in your hands those two books really for me totally clarify how magnetism works what it basically is and how it works in the human body um, now those two polarities that were mentioned one of those those two magnetic polarities that define and describe the whole physical, the, the whole human psyche and the whole physical body and all of the, you know, structures, functions, and forces of thereof. Um, one of those is positive, one is negative. One is on the right side of the body, one is on the left side of the body. And one spins clockwise and one spins counterclockwise. So the magnetic polarity on the right side of the body spins clockwise. The polarity on the left side of the body spins counterclockwise. Now, this basic kind of general picture of polarities is something we need to look much more closely at it but a basic um, concept that's very useful from the standpoint of healing is the basic understanding that when there's a problem there, there's there been this theory in, in healing you know so-called alternative healing that when there's a problem somewhere in your body or your life or your psyche that there's something wrong with the balance or the harmony uh, of the system and what that means is that there's a problem in the in the polarity in other words you have a dominant polarity on the right side of the body and a dominant polarity on the left side of the body and when there's a problem in either one of those overall polarities you find much you know more specific problems now the science of magnetics as it relates to healing needs to be studied much more thoroughly and much more seriously but as a general kind of principle one one the, the way to look at healing is to look at it from the standpoint of polarity and to recognize that the reason that uh, hands-on healing type of approaches and energy healing approaches may not always work consistently or may get inconsistent results is because they're not based on the correct understanding of magnetic polarity. If that principle is understood properly, then the process of healing, the correct way to carry it out for general kind of healing, if not for specific kind of uh, precise kind of healing that's based on science, but a general kind of approach that should be very helpful is to take the right, take to apply your right hand to the right side of your body and to apply your left hand to the left side of your body so that when you do healing touch, you don't cross polarities. What you're trying to do is reinforce and strengthen your the polarity the magnetic polarity of your right side of your body by only applying your right hand to the right side of your body and and reinforcing and strengthening the left hand polarity of the left side of your body by only applying your left hand to the left side of your body so this is just I just wanted to do this video audio video outline of what a physics of psychology roughly sounds like I hope it's not too brief or too quick I just touched on the basic ideas but um, hopefully that's helpful thanks